up in my business. Someone's gonna stay and not fall. Okay. Oh, I forgot what episode this is. It's fair. I know what I'm doing. Twelve. It's episode twelve. Okay. Hey y'all, I'm Amanda. This is the Southern Knits in the Mid podcast. This is episode number 12. I am coming to you from Traverse City, Michigan. It is cold. Winter is here. We have had, y'all, it's already snowed twice. Well, I've woken up to snow twice already. I wasn't quite ready for that, but now I get to wear my knits. Um, it's beautiful out today. It was kind of gray and bleh, this morning, but the sun's out and... But my office where I'm recording is freezing cold. I don't know why this room stays so cold. It's like the, in the farthest corner and it's just like the northern side of my house and it is freezing in this room. So I'm just going to probably keep this on the whole time so that I don't freeze to death. But there's that. So let's see what all have I been doing. Okay. A lot I feel like has happened. It's been probably, it's been about a month now since I've podcast. Sorry, it took me, you know, I really said I was going to get back to podcasting every two weeks and that hasn't happened. I ended up having to take two trips home in October to um, visit, get my house kind of ready. I have to um, get my house ready to go on the market. And so, um, yeah, I took two trips home. That was kind of, you know... Travel right now is not the easiest, and thankfully, thankfully, I kind of like just slid right under the radar with all that because I was not delayed anywhere. I didn't have flights canceled. I just flew like right in between all of that business. So hopefully, hopefully that'll all get better because y'all, I don't, I don't want to have to drive. But if this is what the airlines are going to do, then that's probably what I'll end up having to do is drive because I can't, I can't risk getting stuck somewhere. That wouldn't do well. I wouldn't like that. <laughs> and too many people I know that's happened to. Um, let's see, I've just been working. I just finished a 24 hour shift. So I feel like I'm like a hot mess right now. I don't know why I try to decide to do these after a 24 hour shift. Why do I do that to myself? But this is just when I have the time to do it. I have a good long stretch off now, so I'm gonna hopefully get some knitting done and get some, this office. Y'all, this office is bad. It's really bad. It is, um, it's a mess, and I've got a lot of work to do, so hopefully I can get that, get that a little bit better organized and under control, maybe, I hope. Um, I've got a few finished objects. I've got three. I've got some things on the needles. I've got one whip that we're gonna talk about that has, um, it's given me some trouble and I have probably made up a whole bunch of new curse words for that whip, but we'll talk about it when we get to it. Um, and I don't have, this is a surprise. This is gonna be a huge surprise. I don't really have a lot of new yarn to show you. I got one of my advent calendars in and I have been very good. I just opened it and looked at it. I wanted to rip all the little packages open, but I'm not. And I've got another one that's on the way. And then there's one that's coming out that now I want. And I'm like, should I get it? I know I probably shouldn't because I don't need it, but I want it. So we'll, we'll talk about that when we get to it. So, let's see, what else have I been doing? I've been catching up on all of, all of the podcasts that I like to watch. Um, Chevy Real put one out not long ago, The Bearded Pearl. They put one out, the first one, like, all summer. They took the whole summer off and then some, which is fine. You know, life gets in the way, and um, while podcasting is fun, it's not the, you know, this isn't, this isn't our life, right? So, it was fun catching up with them. Um, I've started watching a new podcast well, it's new to me. If you have not been watching Macy Skeins, you need to go watch her. She is adorable. Macy over at Macy Skeins, she is just adorable. She reminds me so much of my Madison, my, my niece Madison. Just her mannerisms, how she talks, um, 
how she just interacts. It just, I'm gonna put my phone on silent because somebody will try and call me while we're doing this. Um, but yes, I really enjoyed watching her podcast and she has, um, she has a, a line of yarn. She's a yarn dyer. And so go check her out. She was really good. And then, um, Karen from a yarn tail. So Karen and I are hosting a, the make along together. I've been seeing, I've been seeing y'all's posts and, and everything over in the FO threads and the hashtag on Instagram and y'all are doing some beautiful things. I've really enjoyed seeing what you're posting and what you're making. So we'll talk more about that in a little bit too. Um, I've got some prizes together. Karen and I have kind of texted back and forth a little bit. And so we're going to try and decide and hammer down, hammer out exactly what we're going to do for as far as prize, prizes. So that, that mail is go, it's a, it's the, um, we can just go, let's just talk about it right now. Let's just talk about it right now. So it is a gift mail. It is, um, a gift make along. And it is going from, it started October 1st, and it's going to end December 1st. And so, you can either go to my Rivalry group at Southern Knits in the Mitt um, podcast. I didn't even tell y'all where y'all, where all you can find me. All of that's going to be in the description box down below. I'm on Instagram and Facebook, and then we have a Rivalry group. And so, all of that information's in the drop box down below, okay? Um, and then, Karen has a Rivalry group over for her podcast, a Yarn Tales podcast, and then um, both of us are on Instagram. So I'll put all her information in the drop box below and then my information. And so you can go, the hashtag for the um, make along is hashtag gift 2021 gift mile is what it is. So um, yeah, y'all have had some beautiful stuff in there and I've really been impressed with what all you're putting in there. Um, I have cast on some things that are, were going to be gifts and I've ripped a bunch of stuff out and cast stuff back on. So I don't know. I don't even know where I'm at with all this stuff. I have so many things in my head that I want to do and I just like, it's almost, I'm almost overwhelmed because of everything that I want to do. And then I keep buying yarn for projects that I still haven't done yet. So so let's talk about like what I'm wearing and all. So this is my Vertices Unite. This is the first one that I did. And this is, um, oh y'all, I have loved, I love, love, love this. I love this. I love how it turned out. It is so pretty. I have enjoyed um, knitting it. It was probably one of my most favorite knits. So much so that I knit another one and that's what Pearl is wearing over here. So we get this thing back home because I'm needing it. I'm needing it in here today. Um, and so this was all of this yarn. I had, um, a kit from Yarn Inc. that had, it was a steampunk kit and that's what like these two colors were. This over here, one of these is a La Jolla and a Malabrigo. And then this was from Over the Moon, Over the Moon. And then this one back here it's just like all neutrals and pinks. Y'all, it blocked out so pretty. I was so pleased with how it turned out. And it is all yarn from Ginger Snap. Um, so yeah, I really like that one. I have enough of this left. If I switched colors around, I could probably knit the smaller one, which I'm thinking about doing. Thinking, thinking about it because this one, this one may be a gift for someone. <laughs> so there's that okay so I'm going to get into my knitting to my finished objects so I have three and um they're right they're all really good I really like them so the first one I'm going to talk about is my muscle bird hat so I knit this muscle bird hat this is out of um Hugh Loco's yarn this is um pocket full of sunshine okay so, you know, I've knit a muscle bird before. This is my other one. This is, this yarn is out of Gage Dye Works. And this yarn, it's a fingering weight. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know what's going on with my voice. It's a fingering weight yarn. But I think it is like, it was plumper. It was way plumper than the yarn that um, I have from Huloco. And so, that's it. That's that one. So, here is... Y'all, <laughs> it's little. It's I I I 
This is 7525. And I probably should have I obviously should have gone up. <laughs> I should have gone up in size. I knit the same size. So look at the difference in the size. It is it is pretty pretty Yeah, pretty big difference there. So I probably I should have A I should have gone up in size. I like the yarn, the fabric that I got, but I should have gone up in size. So it is like, it is not slouchy. It is for real like a skull cap. Now, I like for my hats to be tight because I don't want them moving around um, when I'm wearing them because I feel like they like try to come off. But I think that my granddaughter could wear this hat. My two-year-old granddaughter would probably be able to wear this. This would probably fit her perfect. So, this may be hers. Um, so, it just goes to show how different they knit up with different thicknesses of yarn. It is what it is. I enjoyed knitting it. This is a fun knit. It um, It's just a tube. You do a pinhole cast on. You do some increases. You knit a tube. You do some decreases. And you bind off. And then you just fold it in on itself. And so if you knit it longer, you can make it slouchy or you can fold the brim up. But being two thicknesses like this, it's super warm. So I could wear this to shovel snow in my driveway. Maybe. We'll see. Or the grandbaby may get it. That really is probably what's going to happen. Is <laughs> She's going to get it because... It's a bit, it's a bit tight on my head. Okay, and so my other, um, ooh, here. Hold oh, please. Look at my sock blocker. I finished my Holly Jolly pajama party socks, and they're long. See, I didn't, I did it. I went all the way. Well, not really. So. This is out of my Shirley Bryan Deconstructed Fade. This is the Holly Jolly Christmas, Holly Jolly Pajama Party. It's not a Christmas. It looks Christmassy, and I think I have a dropped stitch right there. Dang it. I'll have to find something to pick that up with. So that's it. Look how big that is. I just did the roll cuff. So this one, I did a rounded toe. I did a heel flap and gusset. I did toe up. I did a heel flap and gusset. I followed the pattern from Stacy Perry at Very Pink Knits. And um, I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed this heel. I needed to start the heel a smidge early. But otherwise, it's pretty good. And then I just do a roll cuff. I had... And I can't, I don't see my yarn. I had one more repeat of color on this. One more. And I just, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I was done. So I'm going to have to, I have to pick up that stitch. Let's see if I can find a stitch marker in here just to slip through it real quick so I don't lose it. Um, I had one more repeat. And so I could probably use that to do like, heels and toes in another sock if I wanted to. Sorry. Y'all, I found like three pair of socks that I have a drop stitch in. I don't know what I'm doing. I just knit so fast that I don't, I lose track of what I'm doing, I guess. Um, so yes, I love this colorway. I'm so pleased with how this knit up. And the heel did really good. Like, so the last pair of um, socks that I did with these deconstructed fades, I did the Fish Lips Kiss heel and it ate up a bunch of the color. And so I had like a really marked line across the top of the foot from the foot to the leg. And this, I don't feel like, I feel like it just kind of fades up and does good. I think it does really well. I don't lose, I didn't lose anything, and I don't feel like that there's a real, like, harsh line. I think it did really well. So, I think for this kind of yarn, I probably will continue to do that heel flap and gusset because I really did like it. Um, 
And then, oh, these are my favorite. So this is more Shirley Bryan yarn. This is, I did get some yarn. I ordered some Shirley Bryan yarn and, um, do I have the tag? If I don't have the tag in here, I'll have to put, yes, I do. This is, here's her, here's her, her tag, like that. This is the Deconstructed Fade, and this is We the Children of the Tides. Look at it. I made, y'all made mitts. I made Bingo with mitts. Are they so cute? This is another, um, another pattern by Stacy Perry. This is the Knock Knock Convertible Mitts. So, you can do it with or without the little finger pouch, and then you can do either an open or a closed thumb. So I was like, I'm gonna be cold, so I'm gonna do the closed thumb, and I almost regret it, because I need it. But look at how cute this turned out. And then this right here, I probably could have done this a smidge longer. Probably another, another inch would have really been better, but it works for me. So you knit, knit these, it's just like a sock basically. This right here is like the toe of a sock. I did modify the pattern a little bit and she does a tutorial on these on her um, YouTube channel. So I'll link that below. But so the way that she can, I mean, it's just a basic vanilla. You could do a pattern uh, on this side if you wanted to, but it's just a basic vanilla fingerless mitt. And then you have this piece right here. So the way she did this piece was like a um, toe of a sock, but like did German short rows. So you, you do one side and then the other. Well, if I did that, I would have the same problem that I did with my heels on that fish lips kiss heel because it's basically like a short row heel. And so I would have, I would lose my fade. So what I did is I did basically my toe up, the Jenny's um, surprisingly, what is it? Whoever's, I'll, <laughs> I'll look it up. The um, cast on, magic Judy's magic cast on is what it is. A rounded toe basically, and then just knit it so many rows and then did, did some ribbing. And then she had you sew it on, and I just did, I picked up all these stitches and did a three needle bind off. That's what I did. And, um, mama, I'm podcasting. I can't answer you right now. I have to call mama back. Um, I have the, so she had these little snaps, these little cam snaps, and I have some, but I can't get them to, like, press right, and they... They don't button right. So I've got another set of this stuff somewhere and I've just got to find it. But you can either put snaps there or you could do like a little I-cord loop and put a button if you wanted to. But mine are just flapping right now. But I really like them and they're really warm. I, I've, I've worn these a lot over the last week. And um, you can totally adjust if you want this shorter or longer. You can make any adjustments that you need. So... That's them. Love it. Love it. Love it. So, that's it for finished objects. Now, we're going to talk about our whips. Oh, I'm going to show you this too. So, this is the fade for this yarn. So, there's still one, two repeats and part of this left. So, I think I weighed this and it was about... 25 grams. I may have enough here to do like a pair of shorties. So I may try it and see. See, because I really like, because this purple and pink and all, that's really pretty. I really love this purple right here. So I may try and do a pair of shorties out of the, that and see if I can make it. We'll see. Okay. So let's talk about my whips. My whips. Okay, so this is, um, it's, it's, I guess it's a Shirley Bryan feature today because it's all Shirley Bryan yarn. Um, this is my Paris in Berlin. I've made a little bit of progress on it. Not a lot, but I'm doing 
So this is, I'm almost done with this, this skein and then I will just pick up with the purple and fade back to this gold color. I'm liking how it's turning out. It's really pretty and it'll block, it'll block out really pretty, really beautiful. But I think I was like, maybe like right there. So I've made just a little bit of progress because I've been knitting all this other stuff. And um, my other whip that I'll talk to you about that I've ripped out and re-knit like 40 times, so. Oh, that's in my, hold on. This is in my Ginger Snap Bob Ross bag. <laughs> I love this bag. It's got like a, it's got like a little frame right there, but it's the perfect size. Like that shawl is in there or that cowl is in there and it's the perfect size. You could totally put like a two skein shawl in it. This is, what is this bag from? Do I have a label on it? I do not. I've talked about it before. I ordered it off Etsy. They're sure it in a label on it is there, but it's my chic bag. So this is, I'm gonna do a find your fade. I've already done one. Um, this is a pay for pattern. Let me see if we can find a good picture of it. Like, this is the schematic for it. But it's the Find Your Fade by Andrea Mowry. Um, I can't believe I actually have the paper pattern. Let's see if you can see that. Like that. And so, I had, um ordered two mini sets from Huloco and that's what I'm going to do this in. So I am, so these are the first two colors and then I think it goes like that. It's going to fade like that. Those right there look really similar. So I don't think they were, I'll have to look at the picture. I think it was like this. So that's gonna be the fade. And so this is where I'm at. I just started um, fading the first color. So it's just like a garter section and then a lace and it swaps back and forth and then it has this spine right here that goes up it. This is our beautiful shawl. This is a beautiful shawl. I really love my other one. I'll um, I'll pop a picture up or I will um, put a picture at the end of it, but I really, really like it. And so I'm following the pattern. I'm not necessarily following the pattern for where you start this, this fading to the next color because I've got the way the pattern is written, I think is for like seven skeins of yarn and, um, but you don't like when I bought a kit to do mine, my other one, and I was able to get two shawls from it. So I just said, I've just adjusted. I'm just going to adjust where the fade is for this so that it'll work. Okay. So now my last whip. Me and this hat. I mean, like I thought we were going to come to blows just to be totally honest with you. So I'm knitting the Harlow hat by Andrea Mowry. And it's a brioche hat. I don't know if you've ever seen it. It's a brioche hat. The whole thing is brioche and I've never done brioche before. And so I decided my first project in brioche was not only gonna be two color brioche, it's actually the two colors from this shawl. It's gonna be these two colors which this one, you see how it fades and like it has like, a, or it's variegated so it has a light section. So when I'm doing my brioche and 
my colors are the same, it really confuses me. Really, really, really confuses me. So I have, like it was, I really struggled. So I knit this hat. I was doing it on 16 inch needles. So it was totally in the round, wasn't Magic Loop. I was to the decreases, doing pretty good. Um, and I jacked it up. I mean, jacked it up so bad that I watched some tutorials on fixing brioche and I couldn't fix it. When I had to go start going down to like either magic loop or double points. So I ripped it out all the way out because brioche is not something that I feel like I could rip back and pick up. That's the other thing. Maybe, maybe if it was truly two colors and not this variegated business that, that I did. But that being the case, so I've ripped it back. And I had, okay, the first time I knit it, y'all, the cast iron, it's a tubular cast iron. And it's a two color tubular cast iron. And I probably cast it on, I probably did the cast iron probably about eight times. I was so frustrated and I was like, I am not going to let this hat beat me. I'm not. I'm going to win. And then I had to rip it out. So I've started it back and I did it on Magic Loop. And um, I learned a little bit, you know, about. So when I had done it before, it calls for two different size needles. Like the brim part calls for one size and you go up a size. Well, I, the way that my needles where I only had the five inch tips. And so I had the three inch tips in the bigger needle. So I just did the whole thing in the bigger needle and it was too big. So I'm doing it with, now I'm doing it magic loop and I'm doing it with my, my five inch tips with the smaller needle. And I really do like how it fits. I really do. I've already tried it on. I like the fit of it. I don't know that I'm even going to go up to, um, the next size. I don't know that I'm even going to go up to the next size because it's super loose and once it blocks, it's even gonna be more so. So I think I'm gonna stay right here, but I love how this feels. Y'all, I think I like brioche. I really do. It's so squishy and soft. I really like it. And then when this was laying on the table, I had this black up against a really pretty light pink and I almost ripped it out again. <laughs> But I don't have enough pink to do um, to do one. So what I may do is just find a just use it somehow some other way. But I really I really do like this hat, and I really want to finish it because it would go great with my with my shawl and with a lot of other things because I have a lot of things that this would match. So that's it. That's my Harlow hat. I really now that I've got it figured out, it took me a minute. It took me a minute, especially like right here where you're going from one needle to the next. I really struggled right there and it took me a minute, but I finally figured it out. It is so worth doing it. It is so pretty and it's such a neat looking pattern. I really, really enjoy it and it's reversible. So this is the one side and then this is how it looks from the other side. So I can wear it either way. So I've really enjoyed it now that I have figured it all out. Maybe if you've never done brioche before, do one color. Or if you do two color, make sure that they are very contrasting colors. Don't do what I did. It caused a good bit of stress. <laughs> like I almost just burnt this yarn and was done with it. I was so mad. I've never been so mad at a knit ever until this. But now that I figured it out, I really do enjoy it. And when I went to cast it back on, it was just like intuitive. It was so intuitive just to start going. So I really liked it. I really do like it. Um, I have to show y'all these. So my friend Annie that I work with, she gave me these. And I've for, I forgotten to show y'all. So she gave me these little things. It's little stitch markers. And they're all like nursing like it's a little hospital. It's a syringe for a shot. 
a little ambulance. <laughs> a nurse's hat. And then somewhere I've got a stethoscope. Is it on this? It's on something. I think it's on my other thing down there. I've got a little stethoscope. But they're, they're so cute. Thank you, Annie. That was so sweet. I love it. Love it. Love it. So, I'm going to see if I can get right here to... Yes, I can. Okay. So, my, my Charlie Bryan yarn, I ordered. I told y'all I ordered some. But, um, it all came in. And so, those mitts are from one of the, um, things of them that I got. This one, oh, I can't wait. I don't know what I want to do with this one. I don't know if I want to do socks or not. It's called Aslan. Oh, it's so pretty. It's just like icy colors. It reminds me of winter. It's so pretty. And then this one, Vindy. I guess that's how you say that. It really is pretty. I like that. I like, I'm not a big blue person. I don't love blue. It's like not one of my, I like this color blue, but this and gold together are just so pretty. And that mustardy color. And then the other one I got is a yawn is a silent screen for coffee. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So those are the she had an update with her deconstructed fades, and so I just got grabbed a couple of them because I wanted to do, like, mitts and stuff, and I really like using this for those mitts. I really, I really do like it. So, I've got those, and then, y'all, look at it. Why, why did this come on November 1st? Because I have to wait till December 1st to open it. To open all of them. So, I'm just like, I'm not going to show anything that it's not supposed to show. They're all like in a little box, in little boxes. I have not peeked at one of them. Not one have I peeked at. And then I've got another one. I've got one from Shirley Bryan coming. That, um, it says it shipped. So, hopefully I'll get that one soon. And then another one that I saw that I want to get, I have a fingernail that's like kind of jagged here. So, let me find it. So, Dragon Horde Yarn is doing, um, an advent, a Stranger Things advent. Oh my gosh, 12 days in the upside down. Look, so now I'm like, I need this. <laughs> I don't need this, but like, I love that show. And I'm so ready for them to come out with a new, with new episodes, with a new season. I want it so bad. And so now I'm like, should I try this? <laughs> So, her update is going to be Sunday at um, 10 o'clock Mountain Standard Time, if any of you are interested in that. And then, somebody else was doing a Christmas Vacation one. And Christmas Vacation is like my favorite Christmas movie. That was actually, that movie, when it came out in theaters, was the first date my, my husband and I went on. And so, that movie always has like a special place in my heart. And at home... And in Birmingham, there is a theater called the Alabama Theater. It's actually where um, the premiere of Gone with the Wind was at. And it's like, you know, a huge historical landmark. And so, at home, at Christmas time, and it's like this big ornate, ornate theater with little balconies. And it's just, it's a beautiful theater. And at Christmas time, they do Christmas movies. And so, they sell out almost immediately. As soon as tickets go up, they sell out. They're always, it was all, and so we went one year to see Christmas Vacation, and it was the best. Everybody was, people were dressed up. It was the best. So, um, and I can't remember who that was. I'll have to look. If I find it, I'll, I will link it, um, down below. Um, I'm trying to think. I think that's everything. We talked about the mouth. We talked about, um, 
podcast and stuff. So I think that's everything. I think that's all I got for you. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. So listen, y'all, thanks for coming by. Thanks for subscribing. We've had so many of you come over and subscribe. Thank you so much. Um, just thanks for coming and sharing an afternoon with me or, or it's now 36 minutes. So, um, thanks for coming by. Click that subscribe button. Go see the people that I've told you to go see because they're really good. I really enjoy them. And um, I will hopefully see you in two weeks. Bye, y'all.